Let's see if she is fixable because people are saying that she's just straight up worse than Jury. I really like the new uh, logo. Ooh. Oh man, he got that gas uh, that gas station weed. Oh. She's just like straight up murdering a person live and no one's doing anything. Oh. Those are like Don't tell me those are attached to chains. Okay. Very fongish. Oh, she's doing like the viper stance, like the kung fu viper stance, like I like that. I actually really like the Oh, I was right, the viper. Alright. Really Ellie. Oh, yep. She has chains. Okay, so she has a uh, range game. Oh. Oh, she slitters. She's like a snake. Oh. Yeah, her motif is like yeah, her her, her motif is really snake like. Like Fong was mostly like crane. She's a snake. I like this. Okay. Our alternate costume. Oh, okay. So she has a bubble too. All right. So she has command grabs when she's in um. Ooh, going low. Okay. Okay, so she has the um, the bubble like Fong, and she could use oh she could use the chains to bring you closer. Interesting. Oh yo whoa, what are you doing to my man JP? Chill chill chill. No, we can't fix her. We just no no we're not we can't fix that. That's that's broken. Let's get this out of the way. Yes, Aki does come off a little bit extra, a little bit more extra than Jury and dare I say Fong. What Aki brings to the table more than what Fong used to bring, she brings a mixture of flamboyancy, dread, as well as just being all right cool. And to be honest, this is basically just a success or to Fong. And I love it all the way. I believe that Aki was supposed to be what Fong was supposed to be in 5. So far, one thing I'm really digging is the whole Viper motif. To her, uh, to her fighting style, all the way to the clothes she wears. As you could tell, like, what she wears is a leather pants with a leather dress. And not only that it's leather, but it's actually snakeskin. What just amplifies the whole snake gimmick. So that's just beautiful. I actually really like the attention to detail. And I really wish they did the same thing to Fong. Fong actually had a whole crane-like motif with him flying in the air, jumping, and being extremely graceful with, her, uh, with his command dashes. Talking about command dashes as well as special moves, it seems like Aki is going to play a lot like a rushdown and less as a zoner. Um, as you can see here, it seems like Aki does have a bunch of poison style moves but leaves the poison effect. She does have some range moves such as the wires and the poison ball. But the one thing that Aki has is the slitter, the command dash. It seems like it's going to negate a lot of highs, mediums, and lows and as you can see even fireballs. You could convert the slitter to a leg strike, a leap, or a command dash and it seems that you could also take yourself into the air to do additional special moves it seems like the, in, this is going to give a lot of motion for Aki and it seems that Aki is going to be a very anti-zoner heavy character and it's kind of ironic right now seeing that how Aki's fighting against the most annoying zoner in the game but it, seeing all of this with Aki having a bunch of interesting tools and what she could do I do feel that her strength is definitely going to be engagement and she does look like she has some a little bit of tools to actually proc that. The downside with Aki is that I feel that she's going to do very little damage. I feel that she's going to follow a lot what Fang followed. Basically debt by a thousand cuts. So Aki is most likely going to get in 
proc poison, keep, hit, uh, keep hitting your opponent, and probably get more meaty setups just to rinse and repeat. So Aki's definitely going to be that type of character. I could be wrong though. This is just speculation here, folks. I am don't know what this character is going to play like. But from the video, what we're seeing right now, it does highly feel that she's definitely going to be that kind of style. One of the downsides I do see in Aki, and once more, speculation, I don't think she's going to have any reversal whatsoever. Once more, I see her a lot as a technical rushdown character, and from what we see in the video, I bet those hits are a lot of plus frames right there. So I do feel that one of the downsides is not her getting a good reversal and getting out of bad situations. Another thing what I see in the future for Aki what could be a problem is mostly players overextending themselves. Because we could see that Aki's very mobile and she needs to get in close and personal. Minus the projectile bubble as well as the wires, I do feel like this character really does need to get close and personal. And because of that, I see a lot of people using most likely a lot of EX moves like the EX Slitter as well as using a lot of Drive Rush just to get in. And trust me, a rush down in Burnout is not a good rush down at all. Once more guys, this is all speculation, but honestly, I'm enjoying this character. Honestly, I'm definitely going to give Aki a try in release day and... I did say that I was going to try to main Rashid though, but I really do feel that Aki is my type of girl. Trust me, she ain't be fixable, but she could be my main. Until then guys, this is NR signing out. Stay groovy.